Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. Today we have a knitting pattern. This is the Tweety Stripe Knit um, Blanket, and it's a really cool idea. It's using Bernat Lattice Yarn. Here is the ball breakdown of stuff like this. So knitting takes uh, less yarn because of its uh, properties of it. And you can see the striping of the pattern. So C is the color C, just like you see for four rows then A for two rows, C for um, two rows, and you're gonna do this three times. So A for two, C for three, and etc. So you're just gonna follow that along and you can see the sequence along the bottom here in order to get this really kind of amazing look. So this is a beginner level kind of pattern. It is just the garter stitch, which is just the knit stitch back and forth. And I'm going to provide to you on how to change out your yarn in a different video. And if you follow the video description, there's gonna be a link to be able to download this pattern for you. And you'll see the video for that there as well. So I'm gonna get yourself started today. I'm just gonna do a small sample you will need to have a five millimeter us8 circular knitting needle so a circular mean is it has this wire this is just a small one just for tutorial purposes so your wire is going to be uh, 36 inches so from the tip of your knitting needle to the other tip is 36 inches so that you can hold the whole blanket onto this and uh, if you're new to knitting it means that if you did the sticks it wouldn't fit on there so that's everything is going to be resting on the cables just like you see so without further ado let's begin there is uh, no multiples in this this is just casting on 207 stitches so if you want to do a different sample you can count a uh, cast on as much as you want just know that if you do change the quantity of, of that number it will change the yarn quantities here this blanket is 45 inches wide by 55 inches deep following the sequence so let's begin to show you how to cast on so we're going to start and the yarn should be coming right where you're sitting from this direction right here if if this if you're not doing continental so from here so i want you to create a slip knot so put the yarn into your hand like this so the tail's right here and create a slip knot in the video description there was a link to the download i'm also going to put the knitting workshop for beginners there as well and that covers the basics of stuff like this so we're going to create the slip knot and we're going to push it push it onto this needle on this side and then you're just going to pull down to the needle don't over tighten it because then you'll make your life hell so we're going to start and you're going to use the other needle and start to cast on. And so you have to do 207. I wouldn't necessarily count one by one. I would do a whole whack and then count from that point and then add, add or subtract um, any that you have left over. So you're going to insert the needle into the back side of this loop so it crosses the back. So it opens up that. Now I like to put my yarn into my hand like this like that okay the beginning workshop will show you that as well so just loop it and come out like that and so i'm going to just use that and wrap it around the back needle and pull through and when you pull through give it a bit of slack and you're going to rotate it and use this needle here to scoop it up underneath and pull it off. Okay, and that was, so now you got two on there, so you need 207 of those. So you're just gonna go in towards the back side, wrap, pull through, and then just rotate it and pick it up and put it on. So you wanna be relatively loose about it. If you're too tight, it becomes your nightmare. And these stitches will loosen up after the second row. Okay, so we're just gonna wrap the back one and loop. Again, that beginner workshop will take you through really much slower than this. So you're gonna cast on how many? 207. So once you get 207 done, then you can come back here. And if you just wanna try a small swatch with me, which is just a few stitches, just see if you like it, then just stop whenever you feel like it. And then you can pull out your work later. So I'm going to stop here and say that I got enough stitches on there. Let's just say there's 207, and I'm gonna show you how to knit back and forth next. To knit back and forth, it's just the, it's called the garter stitch. 
Okay, so basically every stitch is a knit stitch or every row is a knit. So you're just gonna go into the needle or go into your loop towards the back side and wrap the back needle only. And then you were going to pull it through and that's attached to this one and you're just gonna slide off. And now that's transferred. So you're gonna go into your next one, the back side, wrap the back, pull it through and transfer. So because you have 207 on here, the cable is gonna be full of stitches as well. So as you are running out of space on the needle, just move things up so it's easier to access and then move these ones down towards the cable. And so you're gonna knit stitch all the way across. So just put me on pause and do your final one and then we'll talk about what to do next. When you're ready for the next row, just turn your needles around and put all of them that are ready to be knit again onto this side and this side's empty and push your needle in and get your yarn ready in your hand. And wrap the back and slide off. And so you're gonna notice that the tension is a lot easier now that you're on row number two. And you just knit all the way across. So this whole project is just basic knitting all the way across. So there's no purling, there's no extra fun stuff on this. This is just the absolute basics of knitting, which makes it a beginner pattern. So you can just start blazing along on this thing. And every time you finish a row, just turn it around and restart again. So you're gonna follow the color sequence that is available on the pattern. So in the video description, as I mentioned, I will have an article link there and where you can do the downloads and I'll put how to change your, your colors uh, at the end of the row and how to secure those. And I'll have that all ready for you at that point. So you're just gonna continue along, finishing up your striping as per the pattern. And this here is a beginner level, really easy blanket to be able to follow. Let me know how you made out and uh, see if this is of interest to you. And if this is the first time knitting for you, um, you know, it's actually a great little project to begin. And with all the colors of Burnout Lattice, you're gonna really have a showstopper. To cast off, once you're finished, you're gonna knit um, this, okay? You're gonna work this out and you're gonna cast off knit wise. So what this means is that you're going to go in and let's just say this is the final row. You're gonna knit on the back and transfer. And then you were going to knit again the next one and transfer. And then you were going to take the second one here and just carefully pull it up and over the first. So you have to knit. And I'll put casting off on the other um, in the article link for you as well, because much slower versions. And you're just going to cast off knit wise this way and what you're doing is you're finishing it and it's giving it the same kind of tension as how you started and it's really quite easy and then you're going to secure in your tail ends at the end so I will show you something before I leave you today okay and you're going to come to your last one and you have one more loop left so before you do anything if you let this come out it's going to come apart on you so trim your yarn and before you get too much, far, too much further, open the loop and push this yarn through it. And that will secure that from being able to fall out. And then you can use a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. And this would be kind of like a simplistic version, but yours will be a lot more fabulous. And that's it for today. We hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.